Nobody, nobody defends LeBron James more than me. They you, might. You they love might. the Condor. Love him. I love the Condor half for years. I think he's an exemplary person. I think he lives his life the right way for a star of that nature and magnitude. But he did something over the weekend that just reeks of stupidity. So he was asked after the um, the Lakers beat the Bucks. And by the way, LeBron might have moved ahead of Antetokounmpo over the weekend for the MVP. They beat the Bucks and the Clippers, 1-2. And LeBron was great in both games. Anyway, I digress. So after the game against the Bucks, you know, it's brought up to him that there's a chance, there, there's some talk that some NBA games might actually be played in empty arenas if the spread of the coronavirus continues. And LeBron kind of laughed and said, well, I'm not playing then. Well, what? Well, I play for the fans. And if there's nobody in the crowd, I'm not going to play. Really, LeBron? Really? You're not going to play? How about the millions of people that will be watching on television? I mean, what a, what a ridiculous statement. So ill-informed. Because let me just give you a little bit of a clue, LeBron. It might happen. It might happen. Rob Manfred, the commissioner of baseball, is having a conference call with all 30 owners today. They're talking about eventualities. They're hoping that it doesn't happen, but everybody has to plan for it. And the first step, Don, you, you texted me about it over the weekend. The NHL is not allowing people into, into their locker rooms. And sooner or later, they're just going to keep winnowing people, winnowing people, right. winnowing people, so that there are not large groups of people congregated. And for LeBron to say that, it's just such a bad message. Because what, in fact, happens if this virus continues to spread, and they do Let's have look. quarantines, and there's no people in, in Madison Square Garden or Staples Center, what, what's he going to do? Not play? Can, we, you, can, we, uh, can I play this real quick? The actual sure. words from LeBron? Here you go. Yeah. Games without the fans? Yeah. No, it's impossible. Nah, I ain't playing. That's what I play for. I play for my teammates. Play for. I play for the fans. That's what it's all about. So, if I show up to an arena and ain't no fans in there, nah, I ain't playing. So, they can do what they want to do. See, uh, ridiculous. To me, stupidity. It was, it's like okay, Gandhi. You know, uh, I, I think he gets sometimes a little self-absorbed in, like, whatever I say is just pure gospel. I understand the sentiment that you play for the fans, but just think for a second. If you're playing for the fans, then you have to play with the arena's empty because all those fans are going to be watching on television. Some of them, unfortunately, are going to be quarantined in their house, not allowed to leave wanting to watch you play. So if you really want to play for the fans, you have to play in those games with the arena empty. So I know he wanted to make this big grandstanding moment, but if he thought for just 30 seconds, he'd realize how ridiculous what he said was. He's still playing for the fans. Even if the building's full, the large majority of his fans watch or listen or yeah, how follow. many more people actually watch than right. are in the arena? Right, 20,000 people, in which probably... Compared to millions. In L.A., is, is probably down to like 14 that maybe actually care, and the other people just want to be seen. So, you know, but how many people care about the Lakers, not just in L.A., but all around the world, that watch or consume in other ways that will be tremendously disappointed if he doesn't play in the games? And this is... Maybe he also doesn't realize the reality that we may be facing. Either they'll come down with the edict that no fans are allowed, or there's going to be a suggestion from government to not conjugate in places where there's more than maybe a thousand people. And even if they sell congregate. tickets, congregate. You can't, definitely can't conjugate. No, uh, congregate. No. <laughs> excuse me. Thank you for correcting me. With more than a, a few hundred or a thousand people, that even if they sell tickets, there may not be anybody there. We've well, already he, seen attendance uh, affected by this. He has boxed himself in verbally because there's a chance that this could happen. So he's not going to play? I, th I think he'll just go back on it. I think he'll just easily and quickly go back on it. I think you're making a little too big of a deal of it. Well, he did well, say it. I mean, he did he say said it, it and, then, and he was. But you heard, he was kind of... He was no, being, he wasn't. I saw, uh, did you see the video, too? You just heard it. He was dead serious. I'm not saying dead he's not ser serious. I'm not saying he's not serious, but I think as he gets presented with more real information that this is a real thing, not just something he's being asked... After a game, I think he'll reconsider it. What's he going to do? Really miss games? Leave his team out to dry and the fans at home in Los Angeles and all over the world. They're the most popular team in the game. Well, I would hope that he reconsiders, but boy, he's going he's gonna to look like a fool. That's the part I disagree with you on.
I Why? Think, I don't think he'll look like a fool. What is he? So, is he so in his own little bubble that he doesn't realize what's happening in the world now, right now? Now, now that's a, that that take. Now that take, I hear you on. Like he's obviously a little out of touch to not understand that this could be reality. That part I hear you on. But I don't think he'll. Don, you really think he'll look like that stupid if he's just like, hey, you know what? Well, depends I, talk, on I talked it over with Adam Silver. I, I I didn't really quite understand the magnitude. This is what we're going to have to do. I, I, wait, he can't get out of it. Well, I mean, well, listen, he could. It, anybody can apologize and, and be forgiven. I mean, he's a good guy. So I guess if he, it depends on the statement that he makes. But if he stands by this and doesn't play, he's going to look really bad, I think, because you, you say you're playing for the fans. The majority of the fans are outside of the building, and, and this is becoming more and more of reality. It changes by the day. So I think that's probably what he's going to focus on is, listen, I was asked about it. I've been living in my basketball bubble, but I'm doing some homework, talking to some people. I didn't think it was as much a reality when I was asked the question as it is. So after, I after pontificating about it, you know, or whatever... Uh, that'll be uh, a different word, and I think he'll get up from it. I, I will tell you, of course he'll get up from it, but it just—it was a silly thing for him to say with such, you know, surety. Oh, oh I'm not playing. I just play for the fans. Oh, just the twenty thousand, just those twenty thousand. Those it. are the only ones you play for, I, I, not the millions that watch on TV. I think he's guilty of in that moment thinking I'm going to make this grand gesture to show how I much agree. I care about the fans, and then not realizing that no, sure. no, it was more of a gesture saying that you don't care. I don't want to say misspoke, but I think he just so much wants to kind of jump in front and be out front of things and be bold with his statements and his uh, opinions that he just so didn't the take the moment. Because the setup was, the setup was, uh, do you care, uh, would you mind not having fans there? It's a, it, you know what, Don, it, it's a tough thing to, I could see how you could answer the wrong way and get lit up going the other way. So he decided to go with, no, the fans are everything, you know? And I think he did back himself into a corner because now it, it may, maybe you're right. Maybe he was just thinking too much about the political ramifications of whatever he said instead right. of answering as a human who's just like, play in front of no fans. Hmm. Well, I guess it wouldn't be ideal. You know, I, I just think he, he overthought it. I'm it sure seems. it would be very difficult to play. Um, without fans in the stands. You know I mean? They, they do play off emotion. I think all athletes Oh, do. there's no so question. So all of a sudden, you're playing in front of a, a dead, empty arena. That's, that's not optimum. But neither is the coronavirus. 